is being honored today. A tombstone has been unveiled at his graveside at Mbenge village near Kala in the Eastern Cape. He was at the forefront of the resistance to colonialism in the late 1800s and defended his territory, a tract of land between Indwe and Dortrecht. But British forces eventually prevailed, leading to the relocation of the chief and his people to Kala. As a part of Heritage Month, his struggles are being honoured. And for more on the story, we cross to our reporter, Unati Bengosi, who is in Kala. Unati, a very good afternoon to you. This is a wonderful story for Heritage Month. Tell us what's happening there today. It certainly is, Natasha. A very, very good day to you and a warm welcome to all our SBC News viewers. We are coming to you live from deep rural eastern Cape Wyatt, Gala to be exact, at Kubeng, as you have rightly mentioned. It is the home of Chief Katelo of Amadina. Like you have rightly pointed out in your intro, he fought gallantly against the wars of disposition. But unfortunately, his, um, his fights uh, were not all that successful. I mean, if you take a look around here, uh, he was pushed down to this barren land and moved away from some of the prime uh, farming land in the areas of Elliot and Barkley and moved to this barren land that um, he, him and his people can do very little about. Uh, but to speak more about Chief Gagdelo and why is he worthy of this honor, I now have a pleasure of being joined uh, by the Eastern Cape House of Traditional Leaders uh, chairperson. That is Ungo Singa Ngomhlaba Matanzima. He is on my Right. Tell us why is it um, why is Ngosi Gatelo worthy of this honor? For those who do, who do not know. Thank you very much for the occasion. Um, no, Ngosi Gatelo, the son of Chopo, uh, was one of those who were uh, you know so brave amongst the Tembos who fought you know uh, with the uh, Europeans when they arrived on this land. And he originally he came from Lady Frey, but during those days there was nothing like Lady Frey. It was just Temple Land. Then they were pushed uh, 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 across the river Indwe. Uh, but before that, there were various battles which were fought. And uh, I remember that uh, before 1880, he fought some wars and uh, his land was taken away i remember a uh, dodrecht and uh, Barkley pass uh, he was driven from uh, um, dodrecht to elliot mm. and uh, there was also another uh, fight in elliot and he was pushed back to Kala, and he settled in this uh, small town of Kala of today uh, there was no nothing like that before and uh, he was further driven away from that uh, to this barren area of uh, Mbenge. Uh, his lands, all of them were taken away from him. His cattle and sheep uh, were taken away from him. But uh, we are proud as traditional leaders for this honor which is being uh, uh, given to Gagalo. We have been waiting for these uh, days um, because the fight which was uh, you know, fought by um, our, our young men and, and girls uh, taking uh, um, um, after them in uh, around about 1912 when the ANC was formed and further M MK and APLA were formed. They took over that fight which was led by some of these, uh, you know, uh, uh, gallant fighters of, of, of our nation. Nkosu Gekdal was amongst them. And uh, in 1880 to 1881, they fought together with uh, Umgwati U. Ngosu Stokwe and uh, Ustokwe um, again Ustokwe Charlie um, and, uh, with other traditional leaders. Uh, I'm told at a place called a, um, a just near Yugi they fought there and the whites were defeated but as you would know uh, uh, whites will say we retreated according to plan but they were defeated and um, they further mobilized. They came back 
and uh, now our 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 our, our people were, were you know uh, disarmed and as a result uh, who the the son of Chopo, the eldest one, the heir to the throne of Chopo, Ungosi uh, Umbangele, crossed over to Lusutu, where he died. And Gagdalo came this direction uh, with other traditional leaders uh, like uh, uh, Langam Gulwa. They were together there. Uh, the place was called uh, Makongo's Hook. That's where. They, 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 they fought, uh, uh, you know, uh, with the whites together with uh, Ungosu Dalasile. So it is really fitting that Gagalo is given this kind of recognition. Thank you. Well, that was a brief history of Ungosu Katelo, one that certainly belongs to archives for the benefit of um, the next generation and for them to know a bit more about Ungosu Katelo and the bitter history that um, this country of ours um, has. With that, allow us um, to wrap from myself, Unati Pingos, and Kameramen Uktuenga Mkubasi. It's a wrap from Ekala. Unati, thank you very much, Unati Pingos, live from Kala.